The Infectious Disease Institute stood up in 2017 in response to the appreciation that infectious disease is really the interplay between human, animal, plant, and environmental health. And so this requires a true interdisciplinary research effort. And SARS coronavirus 2, the cause of COVID-19, is an exemplar of this. What's different with COVID-19 is this virus is extremely transmissible from person to person. The COVID-19 pandemic began as a localized outbreak of pneumonia in China. And I don't think many of us at the time appreciated that this was quickly going to evolve into a worldwide pandemic within just a few months. We realized pretty early on that we needed to create a team at Ohio State to address the COVID pandemic that cross-cut many different disciplines, not just basic science, but translational and applied sciences. And this center brings together 46 different investigators from five schools. Animals and humans both have microbial communities that are very valuable for us to study to understand their relationships to health. So animals can be used as a model for human disease, and we can use our understanding of what we learn in animals uh, to apply to human health as well. We're very fortunate within the Infectious Disease Institute to have expertise such as Linda Safe. Linda is a National Academy member for her work with coronaviruses, and she's been involved uh, with studies of the first pandemic, uh, coronavirus, SARS, followed by MERS, and now SARS coronavirus 2. And she leads an amazing team that's looking at everything from the, from the fundamental virology to vaccine development. Zoonosis is when a virus or a pathogen is transmitted from animals to humans. And all of the SARS, the MERS, and COVID-19 appear to be zoonosis. And the ancestral host for COVID-19, as well as the other two viruses, appears to be bats. Animal modeling is very important for understanding how the virus causes its disease. And it's very useful to have an understanding of the pathogenesis to institute the proper vaccine strategies. The eScout project is Environmental Surveillance for COVID in Ohio, Understanding Transmission. This project represents a group effort. So there's 18 to 20 different uh, PIs who are all working together to look for SARS-CoV-2 in environments outside of humans. So this includes looking in wildlife, looking in animals that are presenting in our veterinary hospitals, looking in animals that are presenting in our animal shelters, looking in animals that are being presented at agricultural fairs, and looking in water, wastewater, and stormwater to see where can we find SARS-CoV-2 and how might that pose a risk to human health, animal health, or environmental health. My name is Joseph Tian. My research is on infectious disease dynamics on networks. Uh, since coronavirus hit, I've been involved with modeling efforts to understand uh, the time course of the, of the outbreak and uh, try to help inform policy decisions in terms of containment. Using modeling to help inform uh, data-driven policy is really important for COVID and, and, and other uh, public health crises, um, probably because they're really complex systems that are hard to predict what's going to happen and there's often conflicting information that's hard to wade through, and raw numbers also can be misleading. You're often in a situation where you can't ethically do an experiment to see what's gonna happen. So um, modeling gives you a way to try to assess different possibilities and make as, as informed a decision as you can. The real focal point of the Stop COVID Center, as we're calling it, is a longitudinal study of Columbus area first responders, as well as their, their household contacts. And this is an important group of people to study because they're at very high risk of exposure and re-exposure to uh, SARS-CoV-2. And we're using all of these test results to, to learn more effective ways to communicate, not just to our participants, to the general, uh, but also to the general public about risk, transmission, and protection, and all of the factors that play into those. The Infectious Diseases Institute at Ohio State University is a really incredible, diverse group of talented expertise who has 
very much come together around our uh, united enemy against SARS-CoV-2 in looking for how do we understand this virus, how do we use our various skills, whether that's wastewater, microbiology, virology, uh, environmental science, and apply those skills to understand this virus, where it's going, how it invades, and who it can infect. Key to the success of the Infectious Disease Institute has been establishing partnerships, whether that's the Research Institute at Nationwide Children's Hospital, other interdisciplinary programs within the university, such as translational data analytics, uh, corporations, uh, to name but a few. When March rolled around and, and COVID hit us, these collaborations, these connections, allowed us to rapidly assemble teams of collaborators to develop tests for the virus and for immune responses to the virus that we are using in our research. If there's a silver lining for any of this, I think it's been a real honor and privilege to work as part of a team uh, to, to tackle COVID. I, I've been amazed right from the beginning at how selfless and how dedicated folks were on the team. I found that really inspiring.